Hey guys, I'm back at the sawmill today. It feels like it's been a long time and it really has. Uh, work has been super busy. We finally broke ground on that job where I tore down the house in a video a couple months ago. We've been moving thousands of yards of dirt a day for about a month and just putting in a lot of hours. So I've been away from the mill, I've been away from YouTube, but I've got a little break in the work. I'm gonna do some milling today. As you can see, I've got some shorties staged up at the sawmill, and I know what you're thinking. Not another fence board video. Yep, it's another fence board video. My last two videos were sawing fence boards for a friend of mine and his dad. And between those two guys, uh, word of mouth has got me orders for 1,550 more boards. So. Um, I'm going to take this little bit of time I have to, to make as many as I can, but I thought in this video, I'd show you how I size up these logs to get the most yield out of them. These logs that are sitting here are all that are left from that crooked tree. I cut down, uh, the majority of it was rotten. Uh, the farther up the tree I went, the worse it got. So these three, these three sections are about what I've got out of that tree. I may actually have to buy some cedar to, uh, to make the rest of this order, but let's get started. Now there's very little taper in these six foot, uh, they're about six foot four, six foot two. Very little taper from end to end. This end is uh, 21 wide, almost 24 tall. The other end is 21 wide and about 22 tall. So it's, it's a fairly straight section here. Now the boards I'm gonna make are five and a half inches wide, five eighths of an inch thick and six feet long. What I've done here, I took my level and found roughly the center of the log, leveled it off, marked it. The width of two boards side by side is 11 inches, which is about right there. But since I've got a little bit of taper, we're gonna come down a bit. I've got 13 inches across, mark that out. And each board will end up being 5 eighths after it's cut. So when you add the uh, 16th of an inch kerf of the blade, you're actually in 11 sixteenths each cut. So if we find roughly 13 on the bottom, you can also use a square off of your line, but I can't find my square. Okay, so I've laid out, I've got 13 inches across here, top and bottom. Between my lines, I've got 18 inches. So I know that I'll have a five and a half by 18 cant here, one here. Now, since the boards will each equate to 11 sixteenths of material. You divide 11 by 16 and that gives you 0.6785. That's what you've got each cut. And if you divide that by eight or divide 18 by this, it, it comes out at uh, just over 26 boards, 26 and a half boards per cant. So what I might try and do is take my first cut a little higher so that I can get uh, two more boards out of this, as long as I end up 
with the right dimension can't at the at the narrow end. So let's say I get I can I can make a little bit more out of here. I can get 27 out of each. That's 54 boards. Now there's still quite a bit of decent wood on these edges. I can lay out 11 inches here by three. I'll cut this into a cant. I'll try and get a, a couple flitch boards out of this one. I could probably get maybe two boards out of the bottom. Maybe we'll see what we're left with when we cut that one. This one split when uh, when I was cutting the tree into rounds. So there's a couple boards in here, but uh, we know at a bare minimum, 54 boards out of the centerpiece probably I bet we can get at least 65 boards out of this one Now, right off the bat, you can see because of the, the shape of this log, there's not that much taper, but the, the shape's a little wonky. I've only got about eight and a quarter inches of wood here. Uh, to get to 11, I'm going to have to come down about another inch. So what I'll do is I'll set up my saw for the 11 sixteenths, and I'll take a cut. Well, there's some damage on this log. I don't even think that flitch will make a decent uh, fence board, but I'll set it up for 11 16 anyway. I'll cut off a flitch, set it aside, cut a, a second flitch that I can make a, a fence board out of, and then we'll see what we end up with.
Well, we ended up with two five and a half by 17 and a half cants, but we've got issues in the pith. Um, it might even be a little bit soft. Theoretically, I'd get 25 boards out of each one, but uh, I think I'm just gonna have to saw through them and see what I end up with. Well, that's going to do it for those two cants. I'm getting into some soft um, damaged wood from the pith. I've still got the two outer flitches that I think have got some good boards in them. Looking more closely at the next two logs I've got staged, it looks like the centers of those are a little, uh, a little punky as well. So I may, I may change how I, uh, I look at those two. I think my blade's getting a little dull. I'm down to two blades left, so I'm going to run to Wood Miser Portland and pick up a box of blades. It's Friday, they're not open tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna go try out the 747 blades. I've heard a lot of good things, I've not tried them yet, so I'm gonna see if they've got a box of those for me and uh, do some more milling tomorrow. But uh, if you got any questions about what I'm doing here, feel free to comment and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. But in the meantime, stick around. I'm gonna be back at this tomorrow. I've also got a really big American chestnut log that I'd like to get on here, uh, possibly tomorrow. So anyway, stay tuned and uh, we'll be back real soon.